Patties, Grunts, Admin, Sweet Banana Gaming here with more of my Pokemon Y Wonderlock. In the last episode, we did that stuff at Parfum Palace. We woke up Snorlax and we captured it and Wonder traded it away for... Was it for... No, it wasn't. What did we get? I don't even remember. It's been a while. Um... I don't remember. That's sad. It's been a while. Okay, but anyway, uh, we planted some berries here, so we're gonna pick them up, because, you know, Oran berries can come in handy. I have placed an item restriction in battle. No more than three items per Pokemon in battle, so having some berries is going to be helpful. Um, and let's see, in this episode, I doubt very much that we are going to be wonder trading anything, because we're just gonna be exploring Route 7, probably. That would probably be enough for an episode in itself, and we already got Snorlax as our Route 7 encounter, so probably won't be catching anything in this episode, but hey, you know, oh hi. It's Tierno. Oh hey, sweet bee. Trev said he wants to check out the Pokemon daycare. Come with us. Do, do I have to? I mean, I don't really... I don't really think I can use- I mean, I guess I can use the daycare, but I don't- I won't really, like, be getting eggs. It won't do me any good. Maybe I will. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip this part. Quite honestly, we don't need to... really. We don't really need to talk about the Pokémon daycare. Like, I might use it to level up something if I need to catch something up, maybe. But other than that, I'm, I'm not going to use it to get eggs or anything, because that's just silly. Alright, so we are going to have rival battles coming up, and I'm probably not super prepared for it. So, uh, in the meantime, let's just battle these trainers over here. Alright, Artist Georgia. And you have a Smeargle, of course. These artists always have Smeargle, the Pokémon for artists to use. Okay, let's get this started. It's level 16. Okay, so I don't know how Itoichi's gonna do. Let's protect and see what moves the Smeargle has, because Smeargle could potentially have pretty much any attack in the game. And can use Brick Break. Okay, so I think... I could uh, rely on either Bob or Ace pretty handily here. Ace is one level lower than Bob, though, so I'll give him a chance. My shiny Slurpuff. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, not very effective. Exactly. And that was a crit, and it did 3 HP of damage. Alright, we're gonna give you uh, some dazzling gleam here. I suppose I could have used Nahum against this Smeargle, given him a shot, but I wanted something that was gonna resist Brick Break. I really haven't used Nahum. I don't know, have I used him in a battle yet? He kinda came at a at a pretty high level already. So, alright. Oh, oh, we got a double battle with artists here. I didn't notice that. I was just running, kind of. Oh, you know what? No, we'll probably, at this point... Yeah, we got Smeargle and Smeargle. Alright, so yeah, at this point, actually, we might make it to that cave before we get to, what is it, Sillage City, so we might have an encounter in this episode. We'll see. Alright, what do I want to do? I think I want to try paralyzing these guys. And of course I'm paralyzing the one giving the helping hand. But it's okay, I got Itoichi protecting. So I should be alright. I'll paralyze the other Smeargle next turn. And, ooh, Pursuit. Okay, well that didn't do much, but... As much as I, on, one, on the one hand, should get that smear- should get, um, Bob out of here. I don't want to take Pursuit, because it'll do double damage if I'm trying to escape. Not that it's been- not that it's doing that much damage anyway, but then that doesn't really give me a real reason to switch out. I don't think Bob's life really depends on it, at least not at this point. Alright, so Bubble hit both of them, not for very much damage. And, okay, Metal Claw isn't doing much, but he did get the attack boost there. Um, let's see. I'm not doing very much, so I'm just gonna protect with Itoichi. And, okay, the primary target should be this Smeargle that just got the attack boost, I would think. Hmm, this is an interesting battle indeed. I probably should send out Nahum. This Smeargle insists on using Pursuit. 
It insists on pursuing me. Alright, might as well take out that Smeargle on the left. Yeah, I mean, this would have been a good opportunity to send out Nahum also, but the tricky thing with Smeargle is you never know what moves they're gonna have. So just because I could use a fighting attack against it, you know, you never know that Smeargle could have any attack to trump Nahum. Okay. And this Smeargle is just gonna keep pursuing. Let's see, did I have a berry on... on Bob? I don't know. I'm going to... I think Bob can handle... Bob could even handle a crit, though, from that Smeargle, so we're just gonna try to double up on this guy. Maybe take him out this turn. Come on, Yitoichi. Yeah, okay. Absorb did just as much as it needed to. Alright. Defeated Mona and Paolo. Alright, um, how much farther before we have a... Oh, there's this thing. The battle... Hi, Tre Trevs. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have this cutscene. Sweet, do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau, and it's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn more about Pokémon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos' eight gym leaders. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go in there yet. I mean, the Pokémon's levels will be about at level 15 right now, which isn't bad. Like, I could probably handle that, but I don't want to... I don't want to take it on just yet. I want to save it. A little bit later, it'll be a useful spot for training. Uh, who do I want to have out here now? Because I think that rival battle... I think I have two? Do I have two rival battles, or just... Do I have Trevor and Tierno? Or just Tierno? Actually... Alright, so here, I'm going to try send out Nahum. I've got an artist here. I know he's going to use a... A, a smear goal. Let me check. Yeah, I've got double kick. That should be alright. Alright. Come on, Nahum. I really haven't... I don't know if I've even used you once. Actually, does he have sturdy, too? He has inner focus. Okay, that's not bad. Well, I was gonna say, sturdy would have been good in case that smear goal had anything nasty. But I think I'll be alright. I should be. Come on, fight me, artist. Okay, so he's a close-range trainer, I guess because he doesn't leave his canvas. The ones in the double battle did, but this guy won't. Alright, let's see. Come on, Nahum, let's see what you got. Yeah, I don't think I've used him once in battle, as a matter of fact. Oh snap, you almost only needed one double kick. Alright. Good job. Good job, Nahum. Good first impression. Very well done. I guess at this early point in the game, Sock's stats are pretty good. So, okay, so there's um, other Bob, Kalem. I think I'm going to lead with Ace, just because Ace has the most different types of attacks. So he'll have the best coverage, I think, on average. So we're going to... I don't know who I'm fighting. Oh, I think it's me and Kalem against Trevor and Tierno. Well, let's see. Okay, let's battle. Tierno and Trevor, you'll battle against Sweet Bee and me. Alright, yes, that's pretty much... Okay, that's good, I guess. So we can hopefully rely on Kalem to be a an effective battler, right? I hope. Okay, we've got Pikachu, that's right, and Corfish. Okay, that's to be expected, and Kalem has Fletchling. Alright, let's see, do I use... I have Energy Ball, but I could use Dazzling Gleam and hit both of these guys, probably for decent damage, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to protect Kalem's Fletching from that Pikachu. He just static, got static from it. But he had the same idea I did, get rid of that Pikachu as soon as possible. Okay, and almost one-shot the Corefish, so we're doing pretty good here. Ace is just, well, he's just too good, let's be honest. Now what's that Corefish gonna do? Just gonna Swords Dance. Typical, typical Tierno. Too busy dancing to focus on anything. Okay, we've got Flabebe. I guess I'll just go for a Dazzling Gleam again. Take out the Corefish and get a hit in on Flabebe. And poor, poor Fletchling is paralyzed. Okay, we're doing nicely here. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Ace is just so good. Alright, what should we use? Let's, let's just 
use Flamethrower on that Flabebe just because. And poor Fletchling's still paralyzed. It's okay. I have my fire breathing cream puff here. Alright. Oh no no no. Yeah, we just we just destroyed them. Or actually I did. You just got one hit with your Fletchling, Calum. But you know, your contribution counts too. Everyone sure has a different approach to being a trainer. Yeah, like I have an approach at being good and you guys don't. Oh, it, all right, it's not Sillage City that's next, it's Ambret Town. Okay, so there's another encounter we can get here. So, yeah, we will have an encounter in this episode, provided I catch it. All right, um, there's a photo spot here. You know what? I don't want to spend time on it. And let's see, there's a cut tree over there, but I don't want—I don't feel like getting Lucifer out right now. Oh, which way is the way we can go? This is the shortcut to Ambret Town. Is this the way that we would need strength to get through? Yeah, that's the one for Sillage City. So we can't go through there yet. We're gonna go to Ambret Town, as uh, Bob just said. Oh, um, let's go... Let me put up a rappel real quick. Do I have any? I think I do. Because I just wanna... I just wanna sneak by here, and I think there is an item or two. Should be at least one item. Oh, there's a berry. Person berry. I don't remember. Is that one for confusion? I don't know, but... The more the merrier with berries. And a tiny mushroom, which I can sell for money. Alright. We are done here. Okay, so let's get an encounter. Actually, do I want to be leading with Bob? Because I could... Well, I could run into an Axew, I believe. Any other non-ground types? But I might be running into a ground type. In which case, um, Bob will not do too well. I mean, Bob will resist ground attacks, because he has Levitate, but I won't be able to paralyze it. I'll still be able to confuse it, though, so I guess I guess he's still an okay shot, and then I'll just start lobbing Pokeballs at it. Hope to try to be able to catch one. Zubat Roost. Oh yeah, we, we might just run into a Zubat. It doesn't really matter what we run into, to be honest. Does she heal my Pokemon? Probably. Alright, there, Repel. I think she heals my Pokemon. I don't know if she battles, though, so I'm just gonna run into my encounter over here. Alright, what do we have? And it's a Zubat, so we can paralyze it, which is fine. Alright. Okay, got that thing paralyzed. It's gonna bite. Let's see, what's that gonna do? Ooh, that's a little scary. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here for one more turn, but if things get a little scary, I'm gonna have to switch out to something that takes bite a little better, like probably Ace. But let's try a Pokeball. We can handle one more hit from that if it's a crit even if it's a critical hit. Alright, excellent. No need to worry now. Okay, so let's name this thing. And Bob grew to level 19! Alright. Slowly approaching the level limit. Although I can't imagine I'll be using Bob against the gym leader. Probably gonna use Ace and Jacob, but we'll see. Alright, let's nickname this thing. As always. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna send out a tweet. Actually, right now. Yeah, I just sent it, actually. So we are going to Wonder Trade. For any of you paying attention over in Twitter land. Alright, let's do this. Our connecting cave encounter. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Provided my internet connection is good. Let's hope. We could get two encounters today. I think there's another route out there. But you know what? I think I'm going to keep this episode a little bit short again. Oh yeah, we got a Wurmple in the last episode. Eh. Anyway. That's why I forgot what it was. But hopefully, let's see if we can get something a little bit more exciting for this Zubat. But yeah, actually, I think I'm gonna, well, after I leave, after I exit Connecting Cave, I'm gonna stop there, probably. I know it'll be a little bit shorter of an episode, but I think I want to save 
the wonder trade for the next episode so that I can, you know, just keep... I want to try to have a wonder trade in as many episodes as possible. I know it's not exactly, like I said, it's not exactly getting a lot accomplished, but this went by a little quicker than I thought it would. I thought I'd spend a lot more time on Route 7. Although, who knows, it might take me a while to even find a trade partner, and then if I, you know, have to see if I can keep whatever Pokémon I get from Wonder Trade. So, this might end up filling out plus 20 minutes anyway. Man, there's no trade partners out there right now. Let's see, it's evening in U.S. Eastern Time on a Tuesday. I guess if I waited one more evening, it could have been Wonder Trade Wednesday, but... I mean, I, unfortunately, my busiest day of the week in, in terms of work schedule and having le least free time available to record is on Wednesday, so I can't do any Wonder Trade Wednesdays, like, ever, unfortunately. Gotta make do. Come on. Come on, trade partner. Someone be out there. Somebody. Maybe somebody who might have seen my tweet? Maybe? Come on now. Don't be shy, people. This would be the prime opportunity for someone who was following me on Twitter. Because apparently- ooh, good, we got someone from Japan. Osaka. Yay, Japan. Can always count on you. Alright, let's see what I get. Of course, this will be something I'll probably have to figure out what the nickname is. And it's a Zigzagoon, which I can't keep because I already have a Zigzagoon as my Wonder Trade Pokémon. I have, of course, Lucifer. So, we're gonna have to wonder trade this thing. So I'm gonna keep on... Looks like we'll have to keep on keeping on here with wonder trade. So yeah, this should fill out the rest of the episode time pretty nicely. Sorry, Zigzagoon. I already have one of you. It's the first time I've triggered Dupe's Claws in this wonder lock. So that's a milestone. Oh, Luca from Jalisco, Mexico. Don't make me sing that Three Caballeros song. Ay, Jalisco, no te rajes. And it's another Zigzagoon. Alright, you know, I'm surprised, quite honestly, I'm surprised that a lot of my previous Wonder Trades haven't ended up that way. Like, I haven't just ended up with a bunch of Zigzagoon. But, uh, we have... Cax? C-A-C-S? I don't even know how I would pronounce that if I were to use him. Alright, let's do this again! Sorry! My Jalisco Zigzagoon. Cax. Hopefully that's nothing... I don't think that's anything inappropriate, right? I mean, it's just... C-A-C-S. I don't know. Alright. Someone else from Japan. Come on, give me something good. Or is this Zigzagoon Tuesday and nobody told me? Come on now. Oh, a sand dial. Alright. So I just gotta check the level on this thing to make sure I can keep it. But, uh, yeah, that's something interesting. Hmm. That name. I suppose that's not... Eh, that's not really inappropriate. It's like... It's like when... It's like when something is, uh... It's like when something is totally, like, bull. It's like you say, it's what a croc. I don't know. Hopefully this is okay. I better check it out. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's level 16, so I can keep it. It's got Moxie, which is good. It's got, what nature is that? Naive nature. I don't know, I guess that's an, I guess that's an okay thing for it to be named. I guess. It's, it's at least nothing bad on the surface. I gotta be so careful, it's like, I don't know what, what Double entendres might exist. I don't think- I don't think there's anything wrong with that, though, honestly. 
Okay, oh, you're healing my Pokemon. Thank you, miss. Yeah, so... Alright, so uh, we have... Th that Pokemon. I'm, I'm not saying the n name because I'm not 100% sure. No, I'm, I won't be censoring it, I don't think. That's, that's a, that name's fine. Okay, so we're out here on the Murrail Coast, whatever. Um, Route 8. So we're gonna finish off now, I guess. I'm not gonna take another step yet. You can see Sillage City or... Yeah, Sillage City over there in the distance, but we're gonna go down to Ambrit Town. But we're gonna do that in the next episode because I wanna save my Route 8 encounter for the next episode just so we can start right out the gate with a Wonder Trade, something interesting. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess that Sandal is appropriately named. I doubt, I don't think, there's nothing wrong. I, like, I'm just second guessing myself because I don't think there's anything wrong with it on the surface. But, uh, if you find that name a problem in the comments, let me know in the next episode or whenever, you know, depending on when I record the, record the next episode. The next episode I record after reading the comments, if, if I find that that's a big problem for some reason, I don't think it is, but let me know. I don't think it's a problem. I'm just, I'm just like, I want to be careful that I'm not, <laughs> that I'm not like triggering anybody with that name. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I got a nice. Thank you, Brandon R. I, I am nice, aren't I? Yeah, I'm nice because I'm just, I'm trying to make sure that your guys are all fine with that name. It's probably fine. I'm just being a little too overly cautious. But anyway, just let, let me know what you guys think. But we're going to start off the next episode right out the gate with an encounter. Hopefully we'll catch it and we'll do another wonder trade. So that'll be fun. In the meantime, Grunts, thank you so much for watching. And please check out the rest of our Team Eclipse members, our admins. They do an awful lot of good things. We try to keep content going every day for you guys because we like you. And you can check out my channel, of course, also Sweet Banana Gaming. If you want, if you like my kind of videos and you want to see more like them, I finished recently finished a playthrough of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I'm currently working on a playthrough of Earthbound, and I have other content on my channel as well for you to check out. And you can click the the annotation that should be coming up right about now or in a couple seconds to subscribe to my channel or check it out. And that'll do it. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon Y Wonderlock. Thank you.